This is a CNN special report. Chaos in Tripoli this afternoon as multiple militias fight for control of the city. Brooke Baldwin joined by former CIA analyst Arthur Wenzel. Hello. Now, all satellite and internet communications in the region have been cut off, but we were able to connect with our reporter in Tripoli via phone. Brian, can you hear me? Uh, yes, hello. I'm here at the Mirador Hotel with some other journalists taking refuge from the war zone outside. I apologize about the picture quality. I am using a social streaming app on my phone that is somehow able to get through. Brian, Brian, are you there? Sounded like some sort of explosion. Uh, Brian, are you okay? Uh, yes, <laughs> I am okay. Uh, that was a mortar round. Uh, there was a lot of activity immediately outside of the hotel. Is everyone okay? I won't lie, I'm very scared right now. Brian, are you using Snapchat to connect with us? Um, I think so. Uh, is there an issue with the video? I cannot see my screen. It was shattered as we fled our press convoy. Uh, can you see me? Yes, we can. And, and you look like, I want to say, Simon's girlfriend from Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> it's dumb, but I'm smiling. <laughs> Uh, again, I'm sorry, I cannot see my screen. Um, it's, someone is trying to get into our room. Brian, do you know who's trying to get into your room? And do you know if those filters are free with the app or do you have to pay? <laughs> Soldiers with guns have entered my room. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. I'm an American journalist. American. <laughs> Okay, we seem to have lost the feed. We hope Brian is okay. Arthur, now as an expert in this region, what do you make of what we just saw? Well, I believe that was a meerkat, but it could have been a lemur. <laughs> Either way, that's the best one I've seen. Okay. I'm, I'm being told the feed is back. Brian? Uh, yes, hello. This is a lieutenant in the People's Militia. He has agreed to speak with us. <clears throat> Lieutenant, what is your organization fighting for? Freedom! <laughs> wait, wait, I can see on the TV I look silly. Yes, and we apologize, but uh, Lieutenant, if you gained power, would you promise to hold open elections? <laughs> oh my God, look how weird I am. <laughs> Can you imagine if I look like this? <laughs> I look like old timey doctor who come to your house with a bag. <laughs> I was gonna say Alice Island immigrant, but I see what you mean by old timey doctor. That's I, this is serious. But he looks funny. Lieutenant, if I may ask, who is in charge of your militia? Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Our leader is here right now. Would you like to speak to her? Very much, yes. Ma'am? Ma'am, are you there? Ma'am? Ma'am? Hey! Hi. Do you like my hair? <laughs> Do you like my makeup? <laughs> hubba, hubba. <laughs> I must go. But to the world, I say this. Blood will never stop flowing until our people are free. Ha-ha! <laughs> Bunny dance! <laughs> Sounds like the fighting is close. Yes, he better hop to it. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, are you still there? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> the fighting is in the hotel now. Uh, soldiers are moving us to a new location. I'm unclear where I'm going. Oh my God, that's a dead body. Um, kids, if you want to be a journalist, this is what it looks like. Uh, Brian Makins, live in Tripoli. Stay safe, Brian. Uh, that was some brave reporting, plain and simple. Well, not plain. He had mustard. Go! Go! <laughs> we'll be right back. Ow! All the